right, they got your dang keyway cleaned up. Already sweet. So the other keyway that we had that was in there is pretty trash. Yeah, it's just a little bit wallered out in the middle. You can see it. It's uh, the it's it's wavy. It's wavy in the center. This is us trying to remove it, but this was kind of wavy and low at center. So we're going to put another keyway that we had in one of our other engines that's in better shape in there. Brass hammering. See if I can smack my fingers. Oh, those are the ones you burned, right? No, that's the hammer hand that I oh, burned. Oh, darn. I was kind of hoping you were going to burn the other I'm one. Gonna do, I'm going to do I'm going to use the burn fingers now, though. Maximum damage. Better keyway. Yep, that's, that's better. That's much better. Just need to clean a little burr up there with a file. Right here. Yeah. Always check the keyway on your uh, crank. Make sure it's in good shape. You don't want that thing to have any ability to wallow on the sides. As important as this is, the side cleanliness on these is actually more important because that's where your basic ride point is for the harmonic balancer. Yeah, it's actually keeping it from twisting. And right, right. On the shaft. Another quick thing I want to talk about before Cam starts working on the cam, this could get <laughs> very confusing today is we want to talk about the fact that he went in and marked all of his bolts and nuts on here for yep. um, tightness after he gets done with them. He gets through going through and he tightens it up, he marks it. He tightens it, he marks it. You can do that in any fashion. You can just put a dot on the head of each bolt. Uh, I like to mark the tip of a flat and straight down so that you can later see a reference of if it's turned or not. Yeah, you got a good one over on this one to kind of show that. Yeah. Um, so anyway, that's something to do. Just it's just all about those little details that you run into doing this kind of stuff. For instance, a lot of guys probably wouldn't have even really looked at that keyway and noticed that we had a problem, but we saw it and we decided to go ahead and do something, something while we were here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, this hot plate is very, very old. I can remember dad using this thing when we were living up in Minnesota in the mid seventies. So this thing is probably older than some of our viewers. There's probably some of our viewers that are older than this hot plate. My only regret on this hot plate is that is it doesn't go up to 11. It only goes to 7. So Cam's going to come in here. He's going to start talking about what we're doing with this stuff while we let this heat up. Because we've got our uh, lower gear in here for the timing set. We're doing that to expand it. But he's going to go into all that a little bit more here in a second. The oil is starting to smoke. Let's not have a fire. Fire. All right, so we've got the oil obviously hot, smoking. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. I'm going to fish this out of here and probably burn myself. And very quickly, because these are not really heat rated gloves. Set it down. That's surprising that, that came off. You want to make sure that this is seated all the way down on the crank which it is, let that cool, and it is easy as that. So easiest way to do the bottom crank gear, you can push them on, uh, you can use a propane torch to heat them up a little bit and slide them on there, but a pot of oil works the best. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and stab the cam in. Um, nothing too super special about this. I'm going to use Permatex Ultra Slick. Uh, there is Molly pastes and stuff designed for cam load break-in. This stuff does the same job. And honestly, we couldn't even find the Molly paste anymore. This stuff is pretty much over on the entire market. Uh, so this is a basic, I think it's a melling cam grind. It's a stock pattern. Um, it does not come with a cam card. It just comes with a piece of paper that gives you a few recommended oils for break-in. So list Delo 400, Delvac, Rotella T. Um, we're going to use an oil and a ZDT additive for break-in. Uh, Rotella T is probably going to be my choice for break-in just because I like it. It smells detergent -y and I like that. But I'm going to go ahead and put the cam in. I've already looked over all of the lobes and stuff for rust, uh, flashing, just bad casting marks. This one actually looks very clean, especially compared to the one that we pulled out of here. Uh, there's only a few lobes that have a little bit of edges to them, like this one right here, but that's nothing to worry about. So this part is going to be pretty messy you're going to want to liberally douse bearings, lobes. 
I like to do one section at a time. Work it all the way around. want to try and get this stuff on every square inch of your actual lobes because that is where the break-in is really uh, breaking. And also lube up your cam gear a lot as well. These last few ones are the difficult ones to get the slide in. Give it a few spins just to make sure that nothing binds. And that is good to go. I'm gonna grab the cam gear that up all right so I'm gonna put the cam thrust plate on next I like to use a little bit of blue Loctite on these bolts because there is a lot of harmonics in this area and this is a bolt that you do not want to come out mm -hmm. a little bit <laughs> yeah good to the last drop make sure you line up this oil groove with this oil port right there so, right, so on your engines, consult whatever source you're using for torque specs for these. This is uh, good enough for me. Click. Click. All right. Next up, I'm going to put the timing chain on. All right, so I've got the engine mostly set to top dead center. Our keyway is up, our notch is up. Number one piston is all the way up. I just put my hand across it, turned it till I felt it stop moving. And that's about the best you can do without a degree wheel. Uh, more into about a degree wheel later, but we're not degreeing this cam. We're just putting it straight up on the timing set. All right, so I'm going to take my chain. Put it on the lower gear. All right, that's a tooth off. And this kind of is a dance between moving the bottom crank pulley if you can move it and getting it to go onto the camshaft snout at the same time. Just like that. That looks good. Our notches are lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and take our fuel pump eccentric. I'm going to put some lube on the back side of this. This is a roller piece. Or not really a roller, but this part rolls on the eccentric, so I want this lubricated. All right. Now, so that little stick out there goes into the camshaft pin. Take your bolt with its washer. All 
then torque it down. And hopefully it doesn't spin the engine over. All right. So that is good. Tension's good, still lined up. And our eccentric spins. Huzzah. So it's now nice and guten tight. Yes. German tight. No more sloppy slop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, let's, uh, let's like, you know, we're going to button it up here this week, I think. Yeah. So uh, let's get you up in vertical and we'll talk about uh, why no degree. I don't have a degree. I know. <laughs> Neither does this thing. <laughs> Nor will it. <laughs> so we're not degreeing this cam no. for two reasons. One is it didn't come with a cam card. Yeah. Which uh, makes we, degreeing pretty difficult. Yeah, we could use the internet, the information that's on the internet, but we don't know if that's accurate to this grind. And quite frankly, it's not important at this power level. I mean, yeah, and that's the thing is a lot of guys will say you should degree the cam, but it is honestly. And especially with our timing chain setup, we if the degree is off, we can't, can't do anything about it. So. No, because it's not a multi-sprocket. You get the multi-sprocket from like yeah. Summit and places like that to or, put in there to do that or with. adjustable upper gears and that stuff. You, then you can really degree it in, but you, and this, it just doesn't need it. Yeah, and I mean, this level where we're at, again, it's like we said before, this is a pedestrian engine. So why would we go in and degree the cam if the, the marks on the timing chain are in the right spot? The, the cam's going to be basically where it needs to be anyway. Yeah. You're not going to get any more power out of it yeah. by going in and degreeing the cam. You're just wasting your own time, in my opinion. Yeah, because you can't adjust it. Now, right, you, you'd, right. you'd get more power out of it if you could adjust it. But then you're, why are you using a stock cam if you have an adjustable timing set? Exactly. I mean, yeah. if you're going to do that, you might as well be going and doing a lot more than we're doing with this engine, which yeah. we've said that from the beginning. This is just to show you how to do a pedestrian rebuild in your own time, in your own yard, and not spend like $5,000 on one. Yeah. So, because, I mean, we've got dish pistons and everything in here. We're not trying to gain a lot of power out of this. No, we're just trying to make a, a nice driver. So flat tap it. Yeah, if flat we, tap it. If we want to do pistons. anything performance, the first thing you're going to do is a roller in this. Well, I mean, you can do a flat tap. A flat tap, it's going to be kind of cool. You could go in and do a mechanical cam, like a 289 hypo grind. Some of those things would be kind of neat in here. But then you're still having to go in. You're having to do screw in studs in the heads. you got to do guide plates. you got to do all that mm -hmm. stuff to do the mechanical cam. You still have to do that if you're doing a roller. Mm -hmm. So you're still spending more money on what you're doing with the yeah. camshaft on But it. then if you go flat tap it, not roller, you're still using old tech. Ramp it is rates still old tech, but God, a flat tap it mechanical sounds so cool. Yeah, but I am not kidding you. I love the way the Boss 351 <laughs> sounds, and the 289 Hypo, yeah. Boss 302, any of those mechanical lifter cams. I just that that it, tack old tack part tack of me yeah. that likes to hear sounds the tackety like tack. Dragging a shovel across concrete. <laughs> <laughs> but it sounds cool. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why, <laughs> but it sounds cool. All right, so that's it then. We're not going to be degreeing a cam. We're going to come back next week with putting the cylinder heads on it, buttoning up the top end, putting the lifters yeah, in. We're going to drop lifters in last just so that we're not having oil drip down. Yeah, we don't want to mess with all that right now. I mean, we've got a pan underneath it, but for the moment, we're just going to leave it the way it is and then come back and finish it. Just button the rest of the thing up. I've still yeah. got to take the pan and the timing cover to a machine shop and get them, get them tanked. Yeah, yeah. And so they're all nice and clean for when we do the paint. That'll be an episode that comes up later. Yeah. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to be building our own run-in stand on this. So you guys want to stay tuned for that. That should be pretty cool because we've never built one. And we're hoping that it doesn't roll over when we start the engine. Because <laughs> oh. <clears throat> it, it, It'll be cool if it does, though. <laughs> be confused. Yeah. <laughs> We're the laughing stock of the Internet. Yep. Wait, we are, we it's going to go viral just for the wrong reason. Just for the wrong reason, yeah. So, you know where we're going to go from here, folks? It's going to be about Patreon and joining us in our mighty fight to uh, make things happen around here for some of the young guys that work with us. If we've ever done anything that helps you out on a consistent basis on this show with your car, you might consider donating some money. You don't have to do the $10 level, which is where you get monthly meetings with me. You can do as little as a dollar and all the way up to a million five. Yeah, we would we'll, take, we'll take it, yeah. a million five. Of Graciously. Course, Patreon would also take a good portion of that, so I would probably rather you just mail me the check for the million five. Just yeah. saying. We're going to do it. Call me. We'll, we'll talk about it. Also, do me a favor, folks. Check out Super Thanks. 
the worst name, best idea that YouTube has ever had. Super thanks is a way for you to give us that one time, hey man, we thank you for what we, you're doing around here. Darren said the minimum amount is what? Two dollars. Two bucks. That's your 10 cents. If you do me two dollars, I will mention you and say you're so cheap, you only gave us two bucks. I will. I will definitely put your name out there. So people will know. When you go to the restaurant, they'll know that's the guy that tipped them two the bucks. Cheapskate. It's the cheapskate. <laughs> cheapskate. If you want to be known as the cheapskate, do that. Finally, folks, do me a favor. Love on each other. Treat each other nice. You guys have a great week. We'll see you next time on Auto Resto, Resto Mod. Mod. So, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna build an engine <laughs> run in sand. That's not a confident. <laughs> I don't know, man. I thought it was a great idea at first, and I'm kind of wondering about it, but I think it's a good idea because of how many of these kind of things we're going to be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's you, always a useful thing to have around as well. The bizarre thing is we have enough crap laying around here to actually do it. Yeah, and we have enough mock-up blocks. <laughs> oh, we got mock-up 302 blocks we can put on. It's plenty of stuff. Yeah. Just, just need to make it configurable yeah. for like... <laughs> I won't rag on Chevy, but. <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to do that. That's why you're not going to do it right now. Chevy. We do need to do it for Chevy, though, because we got that 383 that goes in the Camaro that we got around here. Mm -hmm. Let me break that in. Of course, it's already probably been running at the place. We got that one from Summit. Yeah. So it's probably ready to go. It could be just thrown in, but I'm not going to do that. And it's a roller. That's got a roller cam in it. Pretty cool. Go get a beer? Yes. Let's go. Cool.